Okay, looks like we're live. Hey guys, my name is Sarah. Hi guys, my name is Micah. We are the dog trainers. Dog trainers from Baker's Acres Canine Academy. We were trying to figure out how we could do this on our computer, but it's not working. So we're just going to try and do it from the phone. So um, anyway, to answer the question, what are some safe activities that you can do with your dog and I have Micah here to help me answer that um what are some things that you like to do with your dogs play fetch and play tug yeah and how do we make it safe um by holding um where the rope where the dog isn't doesn't have the mask on and hold it right there and then start what are some other ways what are some other ways that we can do that we can teach the dogs to sit and wait until we give them the command mm -hmm. to go and get it and we teach them the out command and break and break can you keep your hands down please thank you so I like to teach the out command, and the out command means that no matter who is holding the ball or who, who is holding the toy, what, whoever says out means you drop it and back away, meaning the dog drops it and the dog backs away. So another way is to make sure, like Micah said, don't grab something when a dog's mouth is, uh, is on it. So wait until the dog releases it before you touch it. Then you can grab it, make the dog sit and wait, and then you can throw the ball or the rope or play tug and you say break or whatever your release word is. Okay, what else do you like to do with your doggies? Hide the ball and have the dog stay in the holding area and then when I get the ball hidden, then I let them go find it. Yeah, she likes to play hide and seek. Come a little closer so they can see both of us. There you go. This is her first time on Facebook Live, so she's a little nervous, huh? Yeah. Okay, so um, what we do is we hide a ball or a toy or something, and we put it in a wood pile, or we put it in you know, just anything. Right now we have Where? leaves all over the ground, right? Where they can't find the ball. Wherever they can't find the ball or find the toy. Or, or can't see it. Yep, yeah, right. And then we have the dogs wait their turn, and then we tell them to go ahead and go get it. So, excuse me. <clears throat> so then it's their turn. Gamla says you're doing great. <laughs> um, we let the dogs go, and then they can go find it. So what are some activities that we should not do? Don't put our hand in the dog's mouth while we are holding the tug toy. That's a good idea. What about this picture right here? Let's see if this will work. I've got a picture up on our computer. This is Micah when she was two, almost three years old. Whoops, there goes the screensaver. There we go. Okay. Is that good or bad? Bad. You should not never hug a dog. Why is that? Why should you never hug a dog? Because they might bite you or lunge at you. Maybe. Some dogs don't like that. I mean, our dog and this dog that's in the picture are Micah's okay. grandma's dog. She, they both love hugs. Okay. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. But it's always good when you don't know them, hold on just a second, there we go. Um, if you don't know a dog, please don't hug it. And even if you know a dog, please don't hug it unless you know for sure that that dog is okay with that, okay? Mm -hmm. Always ask the owner's permission, right? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Okay, do you have any other advice for kids and dogs, Micah? Um, do never, ever, ever have a dog swing with you on the playground. Don't have a dog swing with you on the playground. That's probably a good idea, too. Okay? Anything else? No. Okay. 
Well, thanks for tuning in, everybody. Please share. Next week, we're going to be talking about remote callers and how to make sure that you're not getting a dog that is wise with the e-collar. And I'll sh we'll sh teach you how to do that. We'll also um, be addressing the big question, when can I stop using the e-collar? Okay? So, say bye. 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 Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.